Customizing your overlays and backgrounds is incredibly easy, and I'm gonna show you how to do it using a free service called photop.com. So go to your browser, type in photop.com, and it's gonna open up an interface that looks like this. Now, when you downloaded the files, you downloaded a zip file. They're all compressed inside of that zip file. So make sure you unpack and unzip that zip file, then come back to photop and click on open from computer, and then navigate to where you save those files and choose the file that you wanna edit. Once the file opens up, I want you to look down over to the bottom right hand side, you're gonna see layers. This is where everything is kept. Up at the top, you see social media. And if I click this little eye on and off, you can see that it disappears. So you wanna make sure that it's showing if you want it to show and if you wanna turn it off, you turn it off. If you click on the little arrow here, it's gonna extend what you can see inside of the layers and then it breaks down even further and you can change your name and you can go through and actually change the social media icon that's showing up under each camera. And we're gonna come back to this and I'll show you how to edit this just a little bit later. The first thing I wanna do is show you how to change the color of the background. For that, all the graphics are saved in the graphics folder right down here at the bottom. So click on that come down to background. Now for this particular theme, I have two backgrounds because you get to choose, do you want the vignette or do you not want the vignette? Not all templates have this option, but this theme does. And it doesn't matter because the bottom template underneath it can be turned off and you won't see it. To change the color, go ahead and click on the background image. Then come up to the top, click on image, click on adjustments, and then come down to hue saturation. What you have now is the ability to change the hue, which is gonna be the color. You can change the saturation, which is gonna change the intensity of the color. And you have lightness, which will add darkness or brightness to the actual image. But for this, let's just focus on changing the color first. So if you grab this and you move it to the left or to the right, you can see what happens is I slowly drag it along, it starts to change colors. So let's choose this color right here. If I wanted to adjust the saturation, if I wanted to remove saturation and strip out some color, I would pull saturation to the left and I could bring it all the way down and make it black and white if I wanted to, or I could crank it all the way up and make it extra vibrant. This is entirely up to you, but I'm gonna leave it right here. And for lightness, I can make it darker or I can make it lighter. I'm gonna keep it right in the center. Now, whichever one of these you choose, it's important to remember the numbers that you choose because you're gonna add these same numbers for all of the images in the theme so the colors match when you go from image to image in your live show. Once you've selected the colors that you wanna use, tap on OK. The next thing we're gonna edit is the actual camera backgrounds. This is going to be the border that sits behind your webcam. So I'm gonna tap on that. And for this, because it's white, changing hue doesn't really work for a white or a black image. So for that, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna go down to the bottom of the layers area and you're gonna click on EFF, which stands for effects. Now we have more options to work with here. I'm gonna come up to color overlay. I'm gonna tap on that. And now you see we have options and some of them are already selected. For example, if I uncheck stroke, you can see that the white border around that image disappeared. So you can turn that on or you can turn that off. You can also change the color of it. If you wanna change the color of it, make sure you click on stroke, then you can come down and select the color and you can actually choose anything from the color palette itself or the image. If you wanna choose something from the image, simply go over to the image, move your cursor around to the color that you wanna select, click on a color and it's going to add that color to the stroke. So we're gonna start with this color then I'm gonna hit okay. Next thing I wanna do is come down to color overlay. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but only this time I'm not gonna click on a background image. I'm gonna turn it black. So I'm gonna select the color. I'm gonna come all the way down to the bottom corner and select black. Then I'm gonna click on okay. And you see this is already shaping up to look like a completely different theme. Once we have the colors here, we're gonna go back and click on okay. It's gonna close that down. Then we're gonna change the color of the text background. And that would be this right here. And we're gonna do the exact same thing for this that we did for the camera backgrounds. I'm gonna to go to color overlay and I'm gonna turn them black. Now, a lot of times 
the last color overlay or the last effect that you used will automatically load up when you open this again for a new layer, just like it did. So this looks great. I'm gonna click on okay. And for this particular theme, you can see on the edge of the text background, I have a little sliver of a color. I'm gonna change the color of that as well. I'm gonna come down to effect, color overlay. I'm gonna select the color. And for this, I'm gonna choose a color from the actual background itself. Just like that. I'm gonna hit okay. Now we changed the colors to this and it's looking amazing, but our text disappeared and the social media icons don't really fit with that particular color. So now let me show you how to change those. We're gonna close graphics. We're gonna come back up to social media. We're gonna expand that. And we've broken this down between a left side and right side. That means that the left side includes the left side text and social media icons and the right side includes the right side text and social media icons. Let's open up the left side and we're gonna tap on your social media name. Now, anytime you see text inside of the actual layers and it has the green box next to it, that means you can edit the text. I've color coded all of the text. At least I hope I got them all to let you know that this is text and you can edit that. Now, when it comes to editing text, probably the easiest way to do it is to change the color exactly the way we just changed the text background. And that's to come down to effects and change the actual color overlay. You can change the color based on any of the colors you find in the color palette. And this is a sliding scale. So as you slide, it changes the color. Or you can select one of the pre-selected colors over here on the right. I'm going to select white. And you can see right away that adding white text on a black background, that's a lot of contrast. And the text just pops off the screen. And that's what you want. So we're going to do the exact same thing to the right side now. Click on guest social name effects, color overlay, and it automatically snapped to white because that was my last choice. Okay, now let's move on to the social media icons. Now, you only get one social media icon choice per screen, so I'm not gonna show you how to do every single one of them, I'm just gonna show you how to do one of them because the process is exactly the same to change them all. So we're gonna go back to the left side up here to social media icon, and we're gonna scroll down to the one that's activated which is YouTube, which is this one right here. And by the way, you can change these. If you don't want YouTube, you unselect YouTube. And if you wanna use Facebook, you select Facebook. Choose whichever one you want. So let's say we're gonna use Facebook. So I highlight that, I come back down to effects, color overlay, I select the color, and I'm gonna come back down and select white. All right, that looks great. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing to the right side. Social media icons. I'm going to expand this. Find the one that's selected, and that's Twitter. I'm going to keep that one there. Then I'm going to come down to effects, select color overlay again, and once again, choose white. That looks great. Now once you have this file looking exactly the way you want it, click on file, come down to export as and then export as a PNG file. I like to leave the quality up at 100%. That's gonna make sure that it looks the best that it can. Then I'm going to click on save. Now the structure of how you save these files is kind of important so you don't lose things and you don't overwrite things by accident. So what I like to do is create a second folder inside of the original folder and you can call this anything you want. I'm just going to call it ready. It means it's just ready to upload to StreamYard. I'm going to make sure that I open that folder up, name this however I want to name it so it makes sense to me. Then I'm going to save the file inside of that folder. Now what we have is an actual PNG image that is ready to be uploaded into StreamYard. And I'll show you how to do that in another tutorial. Now that we've wrapped up this particular image, you can move on to the next one, but first you need to close this one. So tap on the X right here. It wants to confirm that you wanna close the file. Tap on OK, and we're right back to where we started, and you can go in and open from computer and go on and grab your next file, and so on and so forth. If you have any questions or there was something confusing in this tutorial that didn't make sense, please go down and leave a comment. I will come back and I'll answer your questions there. And if you'd like to see future tutorials about how to do specific things with these templates, also please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.